Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial, all right? And this time I tried to build myself with MetaHuman, all right? So I wanted to have my own avatar for the Metaverse and I gave it a try. Honestly, there are some great news for character artists because in my opinion, MetaHuman is still lagging some features to really match your facial features precisely, all right? So just in my opinion, it more feels like a character editor for video games, of course, with great graphics. All right, so this is looking quite beautiful, but you just can feel that this tool is not quite there yet. So you just don't have endless possibilities to really be precise, but instead you are quite limited to a certain look, all right? So it's really hard, for example, to get your lips right. For example, I tried to give me more volume here while it's going like this, but I just couldn't do it. Also, I was trying to give me this extra fat here, okay? So, but I just couldn't do it, all right? Also, you are limited with the haircuts and stuff, but I don't want to talk it too bad, all right? Because still, I mean, this is the best tool we have to this date, all right? So I think we just dive into MetaHuman, all right? I put my reference to the side, all right? So I try to model from this angle and I also try to match myself from the side to really get the nose right and the lips, okay? So let me move this one over to my second monitor. And I think we want to build this one from scratch. So this was my first try. I have to be honest, it's really not that perfect, okay? So you can see, I mean, it goes into the right direction, but there is definitely room to improve this one. So let me give it a second try and let's just start with a new meta human, okay? All right, just a quick intermission. If you ask yourself who I am, my name is Marcus Gonza on Instagram. It's Marcus Gonza 3D. I'm a 3D artist playing with all different kind of tools, all right? So, so if you want to see my latest stuff, this is the right place for you. And if you want to learn my techniques, then this is the right place for you. So I have my own Patreon. It's 3D Bonfire. For a small price, you will get access to over 100 tutorials and over 100 scene files, all right? So if you want to learn 3D, maybe this is the right place for you. But for now, let's continue with the video. All right, and you can see you don't create a new meta human from scratch, but you have this default presets, like maybe 50 of them, okay? And with all of these editors, I think you know this from video games, if you play games like me, then you know that they all have a certain look and feel that feels like, okay, they are made with the same editor. So I just can see that they are based on a certain rule set. There are not endless possibilities, but the eyes more or less always look the same, okay? Also the lips, they have different parameters for them, but you can't really sculpt them individually to get all of the facial features that are out there in the world, okay? So it's quite limited, but it's still great, okay? Again, I only say bad things about Meta Human, but I still think it's great, okay? So I guess we should just pick a face that more or less goes into the direction of our own facial features. So let me just see which one could fit. Maybe this one. I made the last face based on this one, but maybe we try something else. Let's just see. So maybe we go with Christopher. All right, let's just try him. Okay, so I just click on it and there you go. Okay, so more or less, maybe I can sculpt this one into my own face. Okay, so this is cool. And I guess we just click on proceed to the next step. I'm sorry that this is German. I forgot to change it. And now you can see Meta Human here. This is the preview. So this is rolling here to just give you some movement there. Of course, you can also pause this one to just freeze it, get back to the default state. Okay. So I guess while you set this one up, you don't want to have it always in movement. So I guess this is quite confusing. All right, let me just quickly talk about the interface. So this is pretty simple. Again, I'm sorry that this is in German, but this is the face, this is the hair, this is the body, and this is for the light, all right? So this is set up to studio. You could also go to an indoor setup. I mean, this is pretty much the same, just a different light color, all right? And I think when you hold down L, then while moving the mouse, you can change the light, all right? So I just put it to this direction, okay? This is perfect. And you can also see all your shortcuts here, but I think for now I don't want to see them because we just want to focus on the face and it's really not that complicated. All right, you can also see there are different cameras for the face, the body, the feet. Let's just check the shoes he's wearing, all right? That's beautiful. 
but let's just go back to the face because we only want to concentrate on the face, right? Okay, and this one is for the render quality. This is set to medium. High is with ray tracing, so I think my computer is set up with two 3090 cards, okay? so. This should be possible on my system, but maybe you need to stay on medium. And there is also one which is called Epic. I can't see a big difference here, but it is getting a little bit slower, okay? Still pretty smooth on my system. And this is for the level of detail. So this is the best. This one is also quite good, okay? Can't see a big difference there. I think when you go here, then you lose the, the hairs, all right? So for some reason, you can only see hair on level zero and one, okay? Let's just click this one that it is not distracting us. So when you go down here, then you lose more and more details. And when you reach level seven, it really looks pretty crazy, right? So I think this is also quite funny. You can also go here to the animation and let's give him some facial mimic, all right? So now this is looking just funny, right? So, okay. He's quite tired. Let's see, okay, what's up here? Maybe a fly or something, all right. But of course we want to concentrate on the details. So let's just go to zero, at least on my system. Then you have this one to make it gray so you can better see and feel the details, the texture of it, all right. So when you go back to color, you just can't see all of these bumps so, so good, right? Okay, get rid of the hair and get rid of the shortcuts. Okay, so more or less this is it, right? And with the right click, by the way, you rotate around him. When you use your middle mouse button on the mouse, you can zoom in and out. And I think when you hold down Alt while pressing the middle mouse button, you can pan around, okay? So, but now let's concentrate on turning this face into our own. So I just reset the animation to none and this is the face. So maybe first I want to mimic the light better. Okay, so I just go to portrait maybe. So this is a bit more flat. Now I press the L key, move the light until it is more or less like this. Okay, so this is just mimicking the light in my in my picture of my face. So I just can feel it better, okay? All right, so let's start with these features. All right, so this one is mix. You can just drag him here, drag Bernice there, and maybe this dude, Gavin here, all right? And then you can click on certain features like your lips, hold it down, and now when you go up, then you get the lips of Bernice. When you go here, it's the lips of the guy to the right. And here you get the lips from the more Asian guy, okay? So this is also nice to just don't sculpt it by your own, but more or less just go with the features that are already there from certain characters, okay? So I just try to go for something like this. More or less, this feels like my lips, okay? Then let's just go to the skin. You can see this is where you can match your skin tone. I mean... Let's see, should I change this one? Make it more bright, I guess, okay? Because I'm really pale because I sit so much in front of the computer and, and it's winter and it's cold outside, not much sunlight. So I guess this is kind of the right tone. With the texture, you can go really crazy. So this is getting older and older. Just try to find something that fits your face, all right? So maybe this one, it's a little bit of an old skin, okay? With lots of bumps here and there, but honestly, because I had pretty bad acne when I was younger, I have also a little bump here and there, okay? So maybe this is the right skin for me. Now let's go to the contrast, okay? You can give it more contrast. I don't need this one. Give it more shininess, all right? Doesn't change so much, okay? So this is all right, we just leave it like this. You can put little sprinkles in your face, Let's try this one, let's put it here. I just need to put up the intensity, all right? But I don't have this in my face, okay? So I don't need that stuff. Let's go over to the eyes, all right? So let me see, this one should be blue, all right? Something like this. I think we don't need to change anything more here. This is perfect. The teeth, yeah, I don't have a picture of my teeth, but I think this is good. Let's go to the makeup and this is quite surprising, but I don't wear makeup. So let's go over to the head, the hair. All right, I just zoom out a little bit. You can see you have different haircuts there, but sadly there is not my haircut, all right? So I try to go with this one, but this looks like from a boy band, okay? So quite, uh, quite ridiculous. Also with the pretty dominant bump here, okay? I think this looks, I think this looks just funny, but uh, this is not my haircut. So 
I just went for something like short. Yeah, it looks like this. Okay, so this is okay because most of the other ones, they just don't fit me. I mean, once I had long hair and uh, pretty loose, not <laughs> something like this. Okay, so maybe because my hair is also a bit loose here and there, maybe I just leave this one for now. Okay, so let's just stay with this one. Oh, you know what? No, that doesn't make any sense. Let's just go back to the short one. All right, and now let's match the color. Okay, so I think this could be something like this. All right, don't need to be too precise. When you go up with this one, you can see you can make it more shiny or less shiny. I just leave it to the default and this one is getting more gray. Okay, but I only have a couple of gray hairs so I just put it to a really low value. All right let's go over to the eyebrows and I think something like this one could fit for me okay. Sadly you can't really change too much stuff here and this is the point that I already mentioned so it's really like a character created for video games and you just can't individually go inside of these features all right. I mean you can oh no sorry I'm still in mix mode you can of course go to this one move and sculpt this one more or less but you are still limited to yeah to a certain range of movement all right maybe this is the right point where we just go into our face and sculpt it just a little bit so you can see with this move mode i have less options but with the model mode here with the sculpt mode I can be more precise so let me just try to match my nose I mean I think I have a bigger nose something like this all right in my eyes maybe they are a bit lower deeper under this this part of the face um my English is not perfect sorry and I think this one is coming more outwards okay so let me just try to build this one but you already can see all of these tools you can't just go unlimited all right so you are limited to a certain movement here and it's really hard to make like a bump like this or a nose like this one okay so you can't go into a cartoony feeling too much all right so yeah as i said this is limited but i mean this tool is still in early access right so don't expect too much so i try to match my lips and i think the bottom part of my lip is coming more outwards so let's just try to push this one out okay and my chin therefore i just get rid of the hair all right this is not looking at all like me okay but let's just see if we can get there my chin is going like this i guess all right so it's going a bit even more upwards but I just can't do this one, all right? So let's just see if we can give me more fat here. Okay, something like that. Okay, the ear more or less is going a bit down. Okay, something like that. And when I look at me from the front or from this angle, then I would say this is quite prominent. And I already can see that the facial skin is feeling too old for my face. Okay, so let's just go back to skin and I just see if there is another texture that makes me a bit younger okay maybe like this one okay this is perfect because it has like this bumps here from from acne all right it really feels like uh, all of these things that i have in my face okay so this is not so bad to be honest i mean the nose is too round let me just see if i can make this one yeah just can't make it more edgy now that's pretty sad but you can see i just can't put it down here and the thing is i think the distance from this one to the upper lip in my case is not that big but it's really hard to change this one really hard all right so maybe like this but now change the lips too much so maybe this is working okay when you see it from the front you can see the lips now are way too too big so i try to make them smaller all right and this is just a limitation of the tool okay this is not me messing it up this is just meta human okay more or less this is okay i mean my lips are not that wide here so i think this part is too big but just can't change it so this is okay let's see if we can make the eyes different because my shape is not exactly like this right i think this is way too big but again this is quite hard to change here all right so more or less i think this is okay all right i think it is time to activate the hair again definitely this is not my beard so let's go to beard all right and i think it's more something like this maybe so this is okay i would like to individually change it here and there but this is not possible for now 
So this is okay. Let's go to the moustache. And no, this is not my moustache at all. So I think it's just a little bit of badly shaved hair there. Maybe this one. Already too much. Let's see. I guess this one is better. Yes, this one is okay. Let's switch over to the beard one more time. And let me try this one. Okay, this is even better. So more or less, this is how my beard is looking. I'm just not shaved. All right, honestly, I think I really can't change so much more here. All right, so I went through this stuff. And I already showed you with the modeling, you can sculpt it a little bit, but you are only able to sculpt in a certain range. Okay, so you can see I can give it a bit more here and there, but yeah, it's still quite limited. So you can see there is only a certain range here and there. So I think this is going into the right direction. Okay, so you can see this technology is quite cool but still limited, but I'm just really curious when this tool is finally done, how many features you will have here, how many possibilities you have. And I think this will just be amazing. Okay. All right, let's make a cut here. So I wish you a lot of fun to create your own avatar based on your own photos on yourself. So let's see how far you can push it. And of course, it would be more than awesome if you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you don't miss the new videos, give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I just wish you a great day. See you next time. Bye, guys.